While walking around on the streets, it's quite common to be offered various things for sale. In the tenderloin, it can commonly be drugs or prostitution. The other day, I was walking around and found that there might be something else that's displacing drugs and prostitution on the street. I was standing on a street corner and a guy offered me something for sale that I don't think I've ever been offered before. I apologize in advance for the poor quality of the audio and video, but it kind of caught me off guard. Yes, this guy was selling protractors on the street in the Tenderloin, and they weren't even new protractors. They were old, dirty, scratched-up protractors, and he had two of them, and he was trying to sell two protractors for a dollar. Furthermore, he was trying to tell me that you could tell time with protractors, which is not something I had heard before, but I have to admit I'm not an expert on protractors. So as you heard, I asked him to demonstrate how to tell time using a protractor but he said he needed a piece of paper in order to do that, so he was not able to demonstrate that. I declined to buy his protractors. Do you know how to use it? No. you want to No, no thank you. What do you do? In hindsight, I kind of wish I had bought his protractors, so that I'd be able to say that I bought protractors for two for a dollar on the street in the Tenderloin, because uh, that would be something to say. I don't know if this is going to be a new trend. Am I going to be walking down the street now and there will be guys with trench coats opening them up saying, Hey buddy, want to buy some protractors? I got some good protractors here. I don't know. I guess we'll see. In this digital age, I wasn't really sure that people use uh, physical protractors anymore, but I guess they do. Searching around online, they're still for sale. I guess people still use them, so I learned something new.